Hello Woodland, I'm Piper Clear. I'm Maya Paul. And I'm Jay Lucy. Thank you for joining us on another week of Woodland Warrior News. Due to fall break, we have extra videos this week. Like usual, we start off the news with a safety tip from Officer Gephardt. As well as an interview with Braden Smith on his experience in the ICE program. This is quarter two, week one of the safety tip of the week. I'm Devon, I'm here with Officer Gephardt. We're here for the safety tip of the week. All right, good morning you guys. Welcome back for another safety tip. So this week we're gonna talk about some cell phone and the addictive qualities that it may have. So a study completed by a major cell phone service, uh, this service provider is Verizon, and they stated that uh, Americans spend an average of 5.4 hours a day on their phones. Verizon says that every smartphone user is at risk of developing an addiction uh, to their devices. And with cell phones being at the center of our worlds, it's very important to identify and prevent um, those addictions. So. What are some of the symptoms of cell phone addiction? Uh, one, just feeling of anxiety if your phone isn't within reach. Your phone interferes with your routine uh, daily activities. If you experience neck pain or maybe some eye strain due to your cell phone usage, uh, a lost sense of time whenever you're on your phone, maybe checking videos, social media, whatever that may be. Uh, if you feel withdrawn from the, the physical world around you and maybe you feel distant from friends and family, that could be a sign of, uh, of cell phone addiction. Uh, and lastly, you've tried to limit your cell phone usage but uh, before, but it was unsuccessful each time that you have tried. So what are the effects of this cell phone addiction? Well, excessive use can lead to anxiety, depression, chronic stress, and low emotional stability. It could lead to poor sleep. Uh, researchers at Ohio State University um, they studied students who used their phones an average of 46.6 minutes per night and established a relationship between their cell phones and their sleep quality. Uh, this usage caused insomnia uh, and may have also contributed to fewer sleeping hours, the inability to fall asleep, and low quality of sleep. So um, moving forward with what are some other effects of cell phone addiction could be an increased risk of car accidents. Believe it or not, there's several people that get distracted driving even while using it hands-free. Um, and then lastly, poor work and school performance. It can cause a lack of focus and engagement. So what are some tips for preventing cell phone addiction? One, you can set a healthy boundary with yourself and then do your best to be accountable for that whether that be you know you yourself or maybe getting with friends, family, and just kind of uh, similar to going to the gym, have an accountability buddy. Uh, track your data usage, just set limits for yourself. Uh, you can try to remove some apps that are big uh, time waster apps. Um, if you're spending a lot of time on them, just do your best. And again, you can just track that data to, so you can see what those trends are. You can change your settings uh, and then you can engage in hobbies or activities that don't involve your phone. Uh, and then lastly, take breaks from time to time. Thank you guys, that was your safety tip of the week. Thank you for that information. Back to the studio. Today I'm here with Braden Smith, and what do you do? I work at Wells Fargo and Cooling. And what's your job look like during the day? Uh, it varies every day, sometimes working in the shop, uh, sometimes going out on jobs, helping put in new systems and new AC systems and furnace systems. And would you say you like your job? Oh yeah, I like it a lot. Changes every day, it's something new, and I learn a lot. All right, thanks. Yep. Next up, we take a look at the science program here at Woodlum. And an inside look at Kinder's campus. Uh, today, we'll be interviewing uh, Mrs. Nunley about the science day coming up. Today, who am I here with? Mrs. Nunley from Guidance. And today, we're going to be talking about the science day, and what do you have to say about it? So, the science day is an opportunity for students to explore science careers at Purdue University, West Lafayette. It's going to take place on November 4th from 8.30 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. on their campus. It is completely free and students will be able to explore hands-on opportunities within their science department, take a tour of the campus, and visit with students who are in science-based majors. Thank you. You're welcome. Back to the studio. My name is Jace and today I'm here with Olivia and I'm going to be doing a check-in with her about her business. Okay, Olivia. 
so far, what has been your favorite part about selling these cookies? I have uh, the Christmas treats, um, I got chocolate cookies. I have um, when it comes to the cookies. Got it. And with that, what has been the most? What has been the hardest part about selling these cookies? I just uh, um the cookies um the six dozens and three dozens. That's a lot of cookies. What has been your favorite cookie that you have made so far? My favorite cookie um the, the Christmas treats. Ooh, the Christmas treats. And with Halloween coming up, are we going to be getting any special Halloween cookies? Uh, yes. I have uh, the how do we um have the cookies? Sounds good, and that about wraps it up. Thank you, Olivia. And that is this week's check-in about Olivia with her cookies. I've heard they're really good, and I can't wait to buy some. What's your guys' favorite lunch? Mine's breakfast. I like the salad. Here's what the students and staff at Woodland think. This week we are asking people what their favorite lunch is. Who am I here with today? Lillian. And what's your favorite lunch? Nachos. Okay. Who am I here with today? Miss Michaelis. And what's your favorite lunch? Um, I'm obsessed with their like casa-like salad that they have on pasta days. It's the best. <laughs> okay. Ethan. And what's your favorite lunch to eat here at Woodland? The chicken sandwich. All right. Who am I here with today? Aiden Roy. And what's your favorite lunch to eat here at Woodland? The cheesy bread or the pizza. All right. And what's your favorite school lunch here at Woodland? Um, I'd say Caesar salad. Okay. Today. Braxton. And what's your favorite lunch here at Woodland? Probably Stop. the Philly cheese steak sandwiches. Who am I here with today? Tickle, Colby. Dang. And what's your favorite lunch? Probably the like cheese bites with fries. Okay. <laughs> and what's your favorite lunch from here? Crispitos. Side eye. Oh this is Taylor and Ari, and we are reporting back to the studio. Interesting answers. Up next, we take a look at everyone's favorite videos of the week. Warrior Wisdom, Nick and Hunter's weekly video, and asking students what the best part of the news is. Hello Woodland, I'm Piper Claire. I'm Jade Lisi. I'm Maya Paul. This week we are doing Would You Rather. Who am I here with? Uh, Gavin Solfering. Would you rather be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? Uh, in jail. Who am I here with? Peyton Emnizer. Okay, would you rather be deaf or blind? Deaf. Who am I here with? Kinsley Goheen. Would you rather be extremely hot or extremely cold? Extremely cold. Who am I here with? Olivia. Would you rather always have a full tank of gas or have a full phone battery? A uh, full tank of gas. <laughs> Who am I here with? Jackson. Would you rather always be 10 minutes late or 20 minutes early? 10 minutes late. Who am I here with? Uh, Bryce. Would you rather find a rat in your kitchen or a roach in your bed? Uh, a rat in the kitchen. <laughs> Who am I here with? Makai. Would you rather be gassy on a first date or on your wedding night? On my wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I here with? Miss Shipley. Would you rather have a pause button in your life or a rewind button? A rewind button. Who am I here with? Griffin. Would you rather spend a year in prison or a year in war? Prison. Who am I here with? Anna. Would you rather be able to take back anything you say or hear any conversation that is about you? Um, hear any conversation that's about me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. See you next week. Today I'm here with... Uncle Ruckus, what what song are you listening to, Uncle Ruckus? Save a horse, ride a cowboy. I'm here with. I'm here with. Oh, Mike Smith. <laughs> All right, what song are you listening to today? I'm listening to Pound Town. Today I'm here with Jack. What are we listening to today? Uh, Rockstar Dead, the A edition. I'm here with Shaden Snyder. All right, what are we listening to today? <clears throat> Fellas in Paris, great song. <laughs> today I'm here with Reese Minden. What are you listening to today? Um, Money in the Grave. My
Money in the Grave by Drake. I'm here with Devon. All right, what are we listening to today? All In by Low Baby. Oh, yes, sir. Great song. This is Griffin Johnson, and this week we asked students what their favorite part of the news is and what they would add. Today I'm here with uh, Gavin Slaughter. What's your favorite part of the news, and what would you add? Uh, they're fun to watch in class, and I want them to make it longer. Thank I'm here with Kaiden. What's your favorite part of the news, and what would you add? Uh, favorite part is probably when they interview the teachers, and I would add a lunch review. Thank you. I'm here with Colin Vashon. What's your favorite part of the news, and what would you add to it? Uh, my favorite part of the news is probably the safety tip of the week, and I wouldn't want to add anything to the news because it's already awesome. So, yeah. I'm here with India Plato. What's your favorite part of the news, and what would you add? My favorite part is the sports events, and I would add student quotes. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. After the break, we take a look at this week's staff member of the week. Welcome back. Here's this week's staff member of the week. Hi, I'm Katie Gilbert. I'm Caroline Romines. Welcome back to our staff member of the week segment. This week we interviewed Miss Michaelis. Hey guys, I'm here today with Miss Michaelis, our staff member of the week. So what do you teach? Uh, I'm kind of a teacher of all things, but mostly English and math. How long have you been teaching at Woodland? Um, 16 years. I've been teaching 16 years and all 16 years I've been here. Very happy about it. What's your favorite thing about teaching? Um, Seeing kids kind of like, aha, figure it out, watching them grow up, and then also the coworkers, minus Mr. Cobb. Can you tell us a fun fact about yourself? Um, I very much like lifting, um, and I would love to put my muscles to the test against anyone. And what advice do you have for your students? Um, be willing to do hard things. Don't just give up just because something is hard. Well, thank you. Thank you to Mrs. Michaelis for that interview. This is Caroline and Katie with Warrior News. I didn't know she was into CrossFit. Me neither. Up next, we take a look at the Winter Guard's upcoming season. Hi, I'm Caroline Romines, and we're doing a story on the upcoming Winter Guard season. Um, Winter Guard is basically Color Guard, but inside we don't have any um, band members with us, so it's just the guard itself. And we compete our own competitions, like how we usually would for a marching band. But it's just like basically inside, and I it's easier, to be honest. Hi, I'm Olivia Gilbert from Color Guard, and I'm going to be doing Winter Guard this season. This would be my second season. We're under the direction of Nicole Osborne, Roy Castillo, and Jennifer Spencer. My, my experience with Winter Guard was very good. I enjoyed it so much that I ended up joining fall season and it was definitely a lot at first because of learning the movement but as soon as I got that down it was the best thing that has ever that I've ever done. So if you were interested in joining, there is a sign-up sheet in the band room, room 119, and it's on Mr. Slattery's right board. It is through for grades 7 through 12. The season doesn't start until usually January, but we're trying to get a head count on how many are going to be there, so we hope to have you join us. Thanks, everyone, for those amazing, amazing interviews. I hope you guys have an, a wonderful season. Welcome back. Aaron and Max take a look at if the students here are bandwagon fans or true fans. And after that, we take a look at some celebrity crushes. All right, who am I here with? Cooper. Are you a bandwagon fan? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, well, who's the new point guard on the Bucks? Damian Lil 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 Lillard, yeah. All right. Who am I here with? Easton Unger. Um, are you bandwagon? No. Name one player from Notre Dame football team. Sam Hartman. Thank you. All right, who am I here with? Douglas. All right, do you, uh, are you a bandwagon? No. All right. Do you know anybody from that team? That you're with? Uh, Pedri. All right, thank you. Who am I here with? Stefan. Are you a bandwagon? I'm not a bandwagon. 
Name one person from Ohio State football team. Um, that's a very good question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who am I here with? McKenna Goble. Are you a bandwagon? Name two songs from Zach Brown Band. <laughs> Chicken fried and cold. Wait, cold. I forgot. It starts with cold chocolate. I don't know what it's called. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is Griffin Johnson, and this week we're asking students who their celebrity crush is. So today I'm here with Devon. Who's your celebrity crush, Lil Nas X? Today I'm here with Anthony. Who's your celebrity crush, Taylor Swift? I right, said, so hey, I'm here with Jack. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush, uh, Travis Kelsey? I right, said, so I'm here with Aaron Beckman. Who's your celebrity crush, Brecky Hill? I said, right, so hey, I'm here with Mason Myers. Who's your celebrity crush, Reese Minden? I should name here with Houston Auger. Who's your celebrity crush? Libby. I should name here with Brayden Cowan. Who's your celebrity crush? Dr. Seuss. I should name here with Nathan. Who's your celebrity crush? Kanye. <laughs> I should name here with Kaden. Who's your celebrity crush? Jason Kelsey. Thank you. Have a great day. All great videos. Last video of the day is a mic'd up practice with the cheer squad. I'm supposed to be on the sideline. I see, see, oh, forgot about that. B I C T O R Y Warrior Victory Let's spell it out and start with B B I C T O R Y B I C T O R Y I don't know if I'll hit this. One, two. Oof! <laughs> we just did. We didn't do it on purpose. Did you hear that? You did wear that shirt on purpose. Try and pull my heel. Sure. One, two. Jets, back up, the blue and white are here, the mighty woodland warriors, have no fear, get ready, step back, cause woodland is our name, the strongest, the best, and victory is our game. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Stand up. Stand up. Ah. Oh. That's your shit, okay? Yeah. We almost got it out of half. One, two. Oh. <laughs> no, not from a lip. He didn't even have me. To <laughs> text my mom. So, not this, not this. Should I text her now? Same. I feel like my mom. Said, Dan, are you ready to fly? If she says no, she's you, you have to be like whatever you miss in the show. So. All great videos for this week. Now we look at the whale news. Welcome to your weekly news report. I'm your host, Eli Woods. Let's cover the past few weeks. We're going to have a little summary of just what's been going on in the world. So October 7th, a terrorist group called Hamas attacked Gaza, Israel. The Pentagon on October 8th decided to send ships and aircraft to the Mediterranean. The Biden administration also said they would send weapons. And as of right now, they have talked about sending $8 billion to aid Israel. In Afghanistan, there were earthquakes registered on the 6.3 6.3 on the Richter, Richter scale, uh, estimating deaths to up to 3,000. Hamas has been abducting the people of Gaza and Americans. It's re it's reported that they have at least 199 people. Xi Jinping, Kim Jong Un, and Putin have reportedly been in secret meetings for the past few weeks. Taiwan has been preparing for attack coming from China. There's a lot more going on, but we don't have time. So if you want to look it up, do it. This has been your weekly news report. I'm Eli. We'll see you next time.
Now we take a look at week of the sport. Welcome back to another week of Warrior Sports. We are your hosts, Ethan and Cooper. For your sports recap of the week, the girls' volleyball team had sectionals this past week, and they beat Leo in the first round. In the second round, they lost to Concordia. Good job on the season. The cross-country team had sectionals this past week, and also the girls' team advanced to the regionals along with Ryan Hubbard for the guys. Now for your upcoming sports. we like to wish the football team good luck on their sectional game tonight. Be there and be loud. That is all for sports this week. Tune in next week for more sports. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you next week. Have a great day, Williams.